Hello everyone, welcome back. This video shows you how to crochet a mobile pouch or a mobile case. The materials required for the project are three ply cotton yarn, 50 grams, any color, crochet hook, 3 mm, button, stitch marker, scissors, and a blunt needle. Let's begin our project by making a slip knot. After completing the slip knot, we are going to work a chain 18. Now we have completed working our chain 18. For the round one, we are going to work two single crochet. Into the second chain, we are working the first single crochet increase. And into the same chain space, we are working the second single crochet increase. So we have a two single crochet in increase. Place marker in top of the first single crochet increase. After completing the two single crochet increase, we are going to work one single crochet in next 15 chains. So count it. 1, 2, 3. So like this, continue to work one single crochet in 15 chains. Now we have completed working our 15 single crochets. We have one chain left alone. We are going to work 4 single crochet increase in last chain. So first single crochet increase, second single crochet increase, third single crochet increase and fourth single crochet increase. So into the very last chain we have worked 4 single crochets. Again, we are going to work into the loops. So, work one single crochet in next 15 loops. So, count it as first single crochet, second one, third one. Like this, continue to work one single crochet until you reach the 15th loop. Now we have completed working our one single crochet in 15 loops. Into the last loop we are going to work two single crochet increase. So first single crochet increase and into the same loop we are working the second single crochet increase. Now we are going to remove the marker and we are going to work a slip stitch. Now we are in the end of the round one. In the end of the round 1, there will be 38 single crochets. Now we are going to work for the round 2. So begin with the chain 1 and we are going to work 1 single crochet into the same back loop. And we are going to place marker in top of the single crochet. Now we are going to work 1 single crochet in back loop on along the stitches. So work 1 single crochet all along the stitches. Now we are in the end of our round 2. So remove the marker and off the slip stitch. After slip stitching, we are going to off a chain 1 for the round 1 and into the same chain space we are going to work 1 single crochet. After completing the single crochet, we are going to place the marker. After placing the marker into the same space, we are going to work chain 3 and a 3 double crochet. So chain 3 and 3 double crochet in same chain space. So first double crochet. Second double crochet. 
and third double crochet into the same chain space we have of chain 1 one single crochet three chain and three double crochet now we are going to skip three chains so into the fourth chain we are going to work one single crochet chain 3 and three double crochet so first double crochet second double crochet and third double crochet so into the same chain space we have of one single crochet chain 3 and three double crochet again we are going to skip three chains into the fourth chain we are going to work one single crochet chain 3 and three double crochet So continue the same pattern throughout the round. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 3. Now we are in the end of our round 3. Now we are going to remove the marker and off a slip stitch. After slip stitching, again we are going to slip stitch in next to 2 chains. So we have slip stitch in the very first chain and into the next chain work a slip stitch. Again we are going to work a chain 1 and 1 single crochet in same chain space and we are going to place the marker in top of the single crochet. Now again we are going to work a chain 3. And we are going to work one single crochet in chain 3 space. So in this round we are going to work one single crochet in every chain 3 space. So again of chain 3 and into the chain 3 space of one single crochet. So this round will be very easy. We are going to work a chain 3 and one single crochet in chain 3 space. So repeat the same pattern throughout the round 4 and we meeting you in the end of the round 4. Now we are in the end of the round 4. We are going to remove the marker and work a slip stitch. So this pattern is the repetition of row 3 and row 5. Here we are going to use the row 3 pattern. So begin with the chain 1 and 1 single crochet in same chain space. And we are going to place the marker in top of the single crochet. So row 3 is the repetition of row 5. So again we are going to work a chain 3 and 3 double crochet in same space. So first double crochet. Second double crochet and third double crochet. Now again we are going to skip the chain 3 and in top of the single crochet we are going to work one single crochet, chain 3 and 3 double crochet. So I hope you understand the pattern. In top of every single crochet we are going to work one single crochet, chain 3 and 3 double crochet and we are going to skip the chain 3. So this pattern is very easy, the repetition of row 3 and row 4. So in this row 5, we are repeating the pattern of row 3. Repeat the same pattern throughout the round 5. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 5. Now we have completed working our round 5. We are going to remove the marker and slip stitch in top of the single crochet. Now again we are going to repeat the round 4. So we are going to slip stitch for the next 2 chains. After slip stitching, we are going to work a chain 1 for the next row and we are going to work one single crochet in same chain space. Again, we are going to place the marker in top of the single crochet and we are going to work a chain 3. After working the chain 3, into the chain 3 space, we are going to work one single crochet.
So again, we are going to occur chain 3. In each chain 3 space, we are going to work one single crochet. So into the chain 3 space, we are going to work one single crochet. Again, we are going to work a chain 3 and into the next chain 3 space, we are working one single crochet. So, by repeating the round 4 and round 5, I am going to increase the height of the mobile cover until row 21. Now, we are in the end of the row 21. So, mark the center stitch for making a loop. You can measure it or by seeing it, you can mark the center stitch. So we can easily mark the center stitch and here we are going to work one single crochet and chain 3 and 1 DC that is 1 double crochet and here we are going to work chain 20. If you want a big size loop you can increase the chain. If you want to reduce the size of the loop you can reduce the chain. After completing the chain 20, we are going to slip stitch in the top of the double crochet. After slip stitching in top of the double crochet, into the same chain space, we are going to work 2 double crochet. Again, we are going to repeat the pattern, skip the next chain 3 and in top of the single crochet, we are going to work 1 single crochet, chain 3 and 3 double crochet. So, repeat the pattern again. Now we are in the end of our round 21. So we are going to slip stitch in top of the single crochet. After slip stitching of a chain one and cut the extra yarn out. After completing the loop, we are going to sew the button. You can just sew the button with the help of the sewing needle or you can just insert the working yarn into the button if you can insert the yarn and just tie it in the back side. After inserting the yarn into the button, pull the yarn into the back side using the help of the crochet needle. And now I am going to tie the yarn. So this is very simple to make. Now we have completed placing our button in the pouch. Now we have placed our button in the pouch. Cut the extra yarns and using the help of the blunt needle, we win all the extra yarns. So friends, now we have completed our mobile cover. I hope you really like this pattern. If you are new to my channel, click the subscribe button and bell icon for the notification. So I am signing off. Take care and bye bye. Thanks for watching.